Eastburg Stockade Girls has decided it's time to tell her story 60 years later. It's the story of Dr. Shirley Green Reese and her part in the civil rights history of South Georgia. WALB News 10's Fallon Howard sat down with Dr. Reese talking about her story. It's going to be revealed one layer at a time. I'm hoping that the people throughout this nation become brave, get, you know, become Become a brave soldier of, for justice and believe in God that you have the strength to overcome anything when you are in dark places. Dr. Shirley Green Reese paved the way for the younger generation after she decided to come forward after being in the Leesburg stockade for 60 days. Now she is doing more and is in the process of writing a book through her lens. Uh, so many times we think of the march in Selma or a letter from a Birmingham jail in other places than in our own community, but the civil rights movement happened all around us, and that's something I hope our, our students and young people will understand. They don't have to go to Washington, D.C. or other places to see the, the nation's history. In 2019, Dr. Shirley Green Reese was pivotal in securing the Georgia Historical Marker. Those who received this honor, their story goes far beyond the local level. So not only does the story of Dr. Reese, as well as the other Leesburg Stockade stolen girls, that, that's a local story, but it connects to the civil rights movement, obviously, which is a national story. And then you have the added bonus of having Danny Lyon the SNCC photographer come in and capture uh, what the girls were enduring. In August of 2023, the NCAA Vice President of Division II named Reese as a trailblazer for helping young women. I never talked about this story until 2015 because I it was it, it will always be instilled in me, but it would not control my life. Dr. Reese is working on her book with no release date scheduled. Fallon Howard, WALB News 10, your hometown news source. Well, check this out. A middle 